So to start out with, let's look at GitOps. Configuration is cool. So GitOps Git upholds the principle that Git is the one and only source of truth. GitOps requires that um, the desired state of the system to be stored in the version control such that anyone can view the entire audit trail of the changes, right? All those changes to the desired state are fully traceable commits associated with uh, committer information, things like commit IDs and timestamps. This means that both the application and the infrastructure are now versioned artifacts and can be audited using the same gold standards of software development and delivery. GitOps is based on a Git-based source management system and hence like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, usually natural choices for, for code repository. So let's talk about having a declarative specification for each environment for a bit. When GitOps requires us to describe the desired state of the whole system using a declarative specification for each environment, this becomes that system of record. So you can describe your environments, such as tests, staging, and production in a code repo, along with the application version that resides in that environment. And the relevance for software factories is kind of simple here. By having a declarative definition of the whole system, uh, you start to um, mitigate the complexity of tasks like audits and rollbacks. Along with those tasks, you allow the government to approach cloud migrations, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud, much like a smaller leaner organization would because those declarative definitions mean that the infrastructure can be modular and really redefined across any environment or cloud. So it gives us a lot of portability. That additional flexibility, freedom, and governance empowers the software factory to serve a much larger group of programs. For example, we can describe everything in the Kubernetes model as a declaration. So the Kubernetes API server accepts that declaration as an input and then continually tries to drive or converge the cluster to the desired state described in that declaration. Next, let's look at GitOps beyond the app environment level. So when you think system management involves much more than just application and, and, and environments, it also involves open source and COTS tools, commercial off the shelf tools that intertwine together to create really this critical tool chain organizations rely on. And it's important these components also fit within that GitOps model so they don't inadvertently become a drag on our organizations and hinder their digital transformation initiatives. The CICD tool chain incorporates an important set of tools throughout that software supply chain that make up the technical backbone of the software factory. Often that consists um, of a, like a myriad of tool, or tech, tools and technologies performing a wide variety of functions. But at its core, the CICD engine really orchestrates the workflow from code commit through testing, deployment, and release. The situation, um, as we've seen, can become complex when there are various teams supported by the software factory that have diverse tooling requirements and workflows. So that starts to raise the question of how can the software factory satisfy those needs most effectively? What we've seen is configuration as code and GitOps enables them to do that. Um, really, where we see, where we firsthand, where I firsthand kind of been involved in that is around reinforcing the significance of capturing this, uh, of GitOps by capturing all that configuration as code. So because the foundation of our technology is Jenkins, the leading in the uh, industry leading open source CI engine, um, as a best practice, Jenkins jobs pipelines are declared as code. Um, the only thing there, the actual configuration of open source Jenkins instances, their pattern is a little bit different, but um, we add on some ability to kind of resolve that problem by capturing the controller's full configuration as code. Some of the enterprise things that we kind of enhance on the open source project. But again, the idea there is that the code is maintained as a YAML manifest. It's stored within the code base, allowing the users to manage their CI solution the same way they would their infrastructure as code application code jobs with that GitOps methodology. So then this codified version within you know, CloudBees Jenkins means that software factories can trace that clear audible history with their CI/CD solution. These configurations can also be used as modular portable installs, which can be provisioned and redistributed across teams and environments. So a lot of times what you'll run into in the government is, um, you know, we'll have some, different environments that we have and we may even have a scenario where you have a contractor builds it to a certain point and then actually hands that over to the customer to put into their environment so moving across environments very common in these scenarios just the way that the workflow is done um additionally like this flexibility really allows us to the software factories to pre-configure and offer 
um, a leading CI CD platform from a catalog of configurations defined in YAML, then teams can onboard rapidly and consistently thanks to the production grade definitions that are captured by configuration as code. Observability is really a measurable property of the physical system characterizes its ability of being observed. So like GitOps advocate system to be designed in such a way that they are easily able to be observed, explored, understood, Git commits related to infrastructure code and tools, allow organizations to have this continuous observability uh, over the current system configurations, upcoming changes and change logs, really reflecting a clear auditable path of what's occurred. Along with observability, controllability represents a major concept of modern control system theory. In order to be able to uh, do whatever we want with a dynamic sister system under controlled input, the system must be controllable. So observability goes a long way to enabling us to make sound decisions on how to control the system better. This includes the observability of the CICD solution, right? Managing this as code means that the software factory can observe and control the past, the current, and future state of that system. 